It's a, um, it's a really wonderful organ, especially for this kind of uh, uh, work with orchestra, where the organ has to exist as it does in Terry's piece, both as a solo instrument and oftentimes, as, as I read Terry's quote, the, the uh, organ exists as part of a very large orchestral soup at times, too. So it's just sort of in the texture, but not always standing out as a big solo thing. And this organ has so much variety that it can do both roles very successfully. And the, the sound in the hall is, I mean, I think it's just a really magnificent hall you have here in Nashville. It's great for sound of all sorts, including the organ. So it, it's a natural, really. You know, it's often called a, a symphony orchestra playable by one person, and especially with an instrument like this, that's a pretty accurate description in terms of its dynamic range from three Ps to three Fs. You know, it can be very soft, so it's almost inaudible, and it can be really gigantically loud, at the end. it does everything in between. So you have that on the one hand that's much different, say, than the piano, and you have all the colors as well. I mean, especially, again, an instrument like this one. Beautiful, uh, you know, orchestrally imitative flutes and reeds. There's a wonderful clarinet stop that if you had a blindfold on, you'd be a little hard pressed, I think, to know if it was a clarinet player either on stage or if it was the organ. Things like that. So, uh, you know, the colors and the huge dynamic range uh, would be two of the things that, that set the organ apart and it's uh, in what you might set out to compose for it. You know. Some of it is, is the experience and I've listened to it a lot uh, from the uh, Berlin recording that they sent me and um, actually as I listen more and more to it some of the moments that I am most entranced with are some of the quiet things. Um, the loud, there's some really exciting, like the end of the first movement is a wonderful sort of visceral, uh, you know, thrilling, big, loud, active bit for both the organ, organ and the orchestra, and it's really exciting in its sort of rhythmic, uh, uh, irresistible quality. But uh, the colors and uh, the sort of ephemeral nature of some of the really soft uh, orchestral writing are... I've almost never heard anything exactly like it, you know? It's, it's very evocative and, uh, yeah, hard to compare to precise. It, it's a little like many other things, but it's not exactly like much of anything that I've heard before.